What's going on guys? Welcome back to another episode of Hustle with Jesse W. And today we're gonna go over the top three brokers for day trading. Check it out. All right guys, so what we're gonna do here is we're gonna go over uh, three brokers, okay? Now, I'm gonna keep this realistic in the sense that uh, I know most people watching me, right? You guys aren't above PDT. And I'm not going to come in here and be like, oh, go to light speed uh, because it's awesome, it's great, and this and that. And you don't have the money to go to light speed. We all know light speed is awesome. The only reason I'm not at light speed is because so far, Street Smart Edge at Charles Schwab is working out perfectly fine for me. I'm above PDT, but it's working out perfectly fine for me. So I don't really, ha I haven't found the need to move to light speed just yet. Um, the only thing attracting me to Lightspeed right now is better hotkeys. That's it. Now, um, I'm going to go over three, uh, probably two main brokers for sure, including the one I'm with and why I left the prior one I was with. So we're going to go and dive into that. Now, before we do, uh, I need you to dive into something. It's that like button down there. Make sure you turn that little sucker blue for me. Helps out the channel tremendously. All right. So. Uh, let me know when you're done, you know, just make sure to turn it blue and then once it's blue, then I'll continue on with the video. So just let me know. All right, I can't see if you did it or not, but I hope you did. We're going to go ahead and move right on into the video, guys. The very first broker I ever traded with was actually Speed Trader. I opened up a Speed Trader account and uh, I traded with Speed Trader and I really enjoyed it. And the reason I did that was because prior to uh, prior to me you know, going into into trading, I actually traded, uh, you know, paper traded. I paper traded with Das Trader, okay? And Das Trader is the same software that Speed Trader, I don't know if they still use it today, I'd imagine so, uses, okay? So I used uh, that because it was, a, it was a seamless transition. My hotkeys were all the same. I had my scripts. All I had to do was just copy and paste my scripts over. And that's it. I, it was like I was trading still in the simulator with the exception that it was actually my real money. Uh, so I really, I enjoyed Speed Trader. I liked it. Um, to start, it wasn't the friendliest thing for me because I wasn't making money to start. Like I think my very first trade, I made money, but you know how it is when you're a new trader, you're, you're constantly improving. You go up a little bit, down a lot, down up a little bit again, down a lot again. And you know, it just, continue circling itself and so you you're losing on trades back then there was no free commissions anywhere other than robin hood and you're you know you're paying commissions you're paying for the platform fees you're playing you're paying for the data fees so it starts to actually you know eat away a little bit uh even if you have twenty five thirty thousand dollars you know it sucks to lose money while you're trading and then pay all those fees so i left them for that reason and i went over to e-trade i negotiated at the time i negotiated my rates with e-trade prior to making the move i told them guys look i have thirty thousand dollars i'm over at speed trader thinking about moving to you but you guys got to make it worthwhile so they did they made it worthwhile for me and they cut my commissions down uh so you know that was fine i, I started with them and and uh i started with a small account really quickly just to get a feel for it and then I transferred the rest of my money over and then I used E-Trade. I used E-Trade for I want to say about a year okay and then uh, while using E-Trade uh, it was perfectly fine at the start like I had no problems at all uh, using E-Trade no issues honestly uh, the, the, the platform worked fine I really really enjoyed their level 2 I enjoyed the layouts uh, if you see some of my old recap videos, you'll see older ones. You'll see, I mean, not that much older. I'm talking about seven months ago, uh, right before I left them. I was with E-Trade probably for one to two years. I want to say two years, actually. Yeah, a little bit, a little bit about two years, over two years, more or less. Um, so I was with them for a while and I enjoyed the platform, honestly. Like I enjoyed the layout. The only issue that I had with the platform was that it began to get laggy. And their, their go-to thing was always, oh, did you clear your cache or cash? Well, however you pronounce that, I'm not a tech guy. So I don't really know, I don't use that word often. So you tell me, uh, did you clear that? Okay, I'll go clear it. It got to the point where I was clearing it every single morning before I went to trade because it was just so laggy, so sticky, just horrible. Like the platform itself started to get horrible. And it was just a shame because I really enjoyed let's say the bare bones of the platform, the basics, and they had so much potential if they if they dedicated time to it, but they wanted to dedicate time to their uh, 
their like cloud software thing, which sucks. I don't, you know, for day trading, I like an actual software that I download to my computer. I don't like trading off the cloud, you know? So the platform started lagging. I was getting mad. Then they did free commissions. Really, it's funny because prior to them doing free commissions, I had negotiated my commissions down to like $2.90 or something like that. Then they did free commissions. I was like, okay, I'll stick with them a little longer. They did free commissions. And then one day, and this video is up on my, on my recaps. It's a live video. You'll see it all. You can pause it. I pause it in the video. Okay. And one day I'm in a Tesla trade with one call option that I did a swing trade on. And I was trying to sell it for an amazing $8,000 win. Okay. At least well over 7,000, like well over, like 7,700, 7,800. I should have gotten a really great fill there. And I got a bad fill. I still made a boatload of money. I made 6,700 bucks on it, a little bit over. But that was my last straw. I told them about it like a few days later or something like that, uh, or the day before, something like that. I don't remember. I was in some spy puts and the, 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 the system lagged, like the, the platform lagged. And it said I was up. And in reality, I was down, I don't even know how much, I had enough. Right then and there, I called them up, I told them the interfixes, make it right, they didn't, said peace out, and I moved on over. I moved on over to, I'll show you right here, Street Smart's Edge, okay? This is Street Smart's Edge, or can you see it? There we go, Street Smart's Edge, right there, boom. This is, this account has no money in it because all my money is in my margin account. This is a cash account. And I moved over to Street Smart Edge. And this is Street Smart Edge with Charles Schwab. Street Smart Edge is their active trader platform that you download to your computer. They have a cloud version of the same thing, which I've used when I've traveled because I, I couldn't download the Street Smart Edge to my Mac, which Charles Schwab, come on now, make this platform downloadable on Mac without having to go through no hoops or parallel or none of that nonsense. Uh, and the, and the cloud version worked perfectly fine, let me tell you. I had no issues with that. Uh, I do not like their trading app on the phone. I don't like it. Uh, but I tend not to like almost any app on the phone other than Webull. Oh, talking about Webull. Link in the description section. You can download the app. Fund your account with 100 bucks. You get two free stocks valued between twelve dollars to $1,400. So that's free money. Make sure you take advantage of that because why not, guys? It's free money. Who doesn't, who doesn't grab free money? Anyways, um, outside of like Robinhood and which has its own set of problems. I would never day trade with that. And Webull, which is pretty good, and a lot of day traders actually use it. Um, I don't like these big brokers. I don't like their apps. So, but the Street Smart Edge, I'm really, really enjoying it. So now, if you have a small account, you want to do a small margin account, small cash account, uh, or a regular margin account, I have a regular margin account here above PDT, and uh, no problems. I the the platform rarely lags it lagged back when the market crashed and i wasn't too happy but everybody was lagging even i think i even saw light speed lagging uh some people reported so there's no real lag continuously like e-trade which everybody's always complaining about lag on e-trade on, on on twitter there's the executions are really good in my opinion very very good uh the platform itself is very intuitive not too customizable I do have a playlist on here and a customization of Street Smart Edge. You can check it out. It it does the job. It gets the job done. Um, it's not too customizable, but the platform is pretty smooth. Okay, the actual executions are, in my opinion, really good thus far to me. I have not had execution issues with them. Okay, I have not had execution issues with them. Uh, there's been a little bit of lag, like I said, back when the market crashed. The charts, I really, really enjoy the charts. At the beginning, I didn't like them much, but I really enjoy these charts. They're super clean and easy to spot price action. I like the black background, very smooth. Um, you know, you have your daily, three minute, 15 minute. Of course, off camera guys, you know I have my trade ideas. Uh, link in the description section of that. You got a coupon code there as well for 15% off. So off chart, off camera, you know, I have all my trade idea charts, etc. cetera. Uh, regardless of that, uh, you know, the level two works just fine. Time and sales works just fine. Uh, you have your, your options chain right here. Like it's really, really not bad at all. It's a really good platform. I enjoy it a lot. Now I've heard a lot of people complaining lately about toss thinkorswim. I've never used them outside of the simulator, uh, you know, years back. 
and I didn't really like it. So right now, this would be my recommendation to any new trader to check out uh, Charles Schwab and make sure to check out the Street Smarts Edge platform because in my opinion, it's new trader friendly and it's free, right? Like I don't pay for this. Uh, I'm not sure if it's because I meet a criteria by being an active trader, but I'm pretty sure you can discuss that with them. And I've never paid anything for data. I've never paid anything for the platform. None of that. And there's no commissions. Obviously, it's all free. So for being a free system right now, I'm impressed. I'm thoroughly impressed. And I recommend it, you know, like to check it out and then make your own opinion and decide whether you want to stay with that. It's going to take you a few tests here and there. Maybe you want to test E-Trade. You want to trace, test uh, uh, Street Smarts Edge. You, you want to test uh, Toss and make, make up your own mind. I like Street Smart Edge a lot. Let me know which is your favorite, uh, your favorite broker. Drop it in the comment section below. Remember to smash the like button for me. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't, and I'll catch you on the next one.